people, we bring these things out yeah. that we are cursed because we obey, disobey God. Right. We've been so put to sleep for so many years that once we hear it, okay, we walk away. Not realizing that the reason we on this condition is because we don't listen. We hard hit. Read to me Deuteronomy 28, 15, bring it and we we'll go with the system. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Meaning it's going to happen. It's not an option. When God says something, it's going to happen. It's not a maybe. Right. If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to what I wrote, because God is not coming now, because when you read in next to this, the people wanted to hear. Remember when we're giving the Ten Commandments, he said, okay, I'm gonna let them hear my voice. At the Ten Commandments, once they was hearing his voice, he said, Moses, we don't want to listen to him no more. We we'll believe you. Right. Everything started thundering. Right. People want to hear God back then. I thought about it. I don't want to hear God. We'll listen to you, Moses. Right. This is what we do. We do say the same thing Moses did, same thing doing with y'all, giving you the word of God. Yeah. To observe. To do all his commandments. All his commandments. Because there's no such thing as religion that God gave us. Right. God gave us commandments. Listen to me what I tell you. Right. And these statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses. Anybody with any type of sense know a cursing is not, it's a bad thing. And all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Meaning no matter where we go, no matter where we act, we're going to be cursed. Just because we see one person, but we believe succeeding in life, we say, oh, we good. We got LeBron James, so we good. But you still having a hard time paying your bills. What that got to do with the whole nation? He cursed it as the nation. Right, that's right. Even he's cursed. Because if y'all pay attention, anytime they try to say anything to uplift his people, immediately the next day, my bad. His hand is like, yo, you better go back there and say, you know, I, I messed up what I said. That happens all the time. That's a curse. Give me uh, 47. Verse 47. Bring it up. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. Because back then he gave us everything. Just like right now. Anytime we bring anything out, it's grievous to us. We didn't we don't serve the Lord with joyfulness. It's always hard if we want to follow our own lust. And with gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So when he's God is saying, we are gonna serve our enemies. Who are our enemies according to the Bible? Because of, what you say? Bring it out. Everybody Bring that's out. outside your nation. That's right. That's what God says. Right. That's in your Bible. Whatever Bible you got, that's gonna say it. So there is enemies. Everybody ain't everybody you know about, oh, we all brothers and sisters. That, that's not what the Bible says. Right. Read that again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee. So when the so-called white man, and it's just not them, they were just of the the last one, because before them was the Arabs and the trans, uh, what's that, the Sub-Sahara. Even right now, when you go to, where they at right now that they got our people um, still sell, um, selling them? Libya. In Libya, they still selling our people. Right now, as we speak, right now, talk about slavery a long time ago. Yes, we're not paying attention. So we're gonna serve our enemy, everybody outside our nation. Which the Lord shall sin against thee, in hunger, our food, when we go to the stores, who owns it? Who owns the farm? The other nation. The other nation, not us. And then thirst, the water, the soda, the coke, the juice, it don't matter. You gotta pay the other nations. And in nakedness, the clothes you got on right now. It's from the enemy. I don't care if they have a name of so-called rap or anything like that. They, they just the logo. They ain't the textile. They ain't the company. And in what of all things? And in what of all things? Our language, our religion, our education, everything that we know or we would perceive to be right in this life, we learn it from another nation. That's right. This is why it's the important out now. Give me. Okay, I got you. Before. Matter of so fact, give, give me that. And I want you to give me Matthew 24 and 4. After. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14 For it is evident that our Lord's spring I said it is evident That means all through the Bible it is evident that what? That our Lord sprang out of Judah That Christ himself came out of the line of Judah Now Since we're going to read Matthew 24 and 4 Because sometimes when we bring out Christ that's, when we grow up to the majority of the world, they, they believe this is Christ. Is, right. is this correct? Get out. Everybody says, for the most part, yeah, that's Christ. That's what we're being taught. But according to the Bible, this is what Christ looked that's like, right. a black man. But we're going to re that he said before we get to the scripture. 
Matthew chapter 24 and verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many, verse 3, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privily, saying, Tell us when shall these things be? So he said, yo, because he was telling them, when is the, how are we going to know all these events that's going to be the end of days? When is going to be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? What's going to be the signs that is getting close to that time? And at the end of the world. At the end of the world. And Jesus answered and said unto them, uh -huh. Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. If you go anywhere in the world, you will only see a Caucasian Christ. So it limits to only one Pacific people that say, I am Christ. That is what we call so-called white man. According to the Bible, his name is what? Esau, Edomite, Idumian. That is their biblical name. So why am I saying, why am I bringing that out? Because a lot of times we'll bring crisis that, okay, what's the significance of it? Because a lot of times, would you don't understand, when you get another another God, there's some philosophy that come behind that. Right? Right. With him, you come as you are and you stay as you are and you get the kingdom. Bring it out. The, the Christ of the Bible, the real Christ, he ain't listening to that. Give me, uh, John 14, 15. Come on. Because this man is the opposite. The reason we in the body, we hate each other, that's adultery, drugs, killing, right. is because we got him in his mind. Come on. You good. Oh, you commit adultery on your way? You good. Don't want him to forgive you about that. Oh, you sell drugs to your people? You good. He'll forgive you about that. Right. That ain't happening. John chapter 14, verse 15. Yeah. If he loved me, this is Christ, it's in red. If you love me. So guess what? That, that two letter word right there, if, that means it's, it's an option. Right. Keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. But in Christian church, we don't have to keep the commandments, we just gotta keep faith. Is, am I correct? We gotta keep faith. Christ himself said, hey, keep my commandments. Then the pastor come right behind. Oh, now you good. He's like this, he's pretty much saying like this. He, you good. Just sure. keep faith. Christ is like, what the hell is going on? I'm telling you, keep my commandments. Right. Right. So this is this is the significance of knowing who the Christ, who the real Christ is. Because right. right. when you know who the real Christ is, we know the doctrine that he's bringing. That's right. Teach. Now give me Christ, and then I want to uh, Matthew 15, 24. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Yeah. Revelation, the root word is what? To reveal. The revealing of who? Of Jesus Christ, uh -huh. which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Uh -huh. And he sent it to signify by his angel unto his servant John. John, this is John the Revelator, one of the apostles, right? Verse 14. His his right. head and his hair were white like wool. So Christ had white woolly hair. There's only two textiles in the world for the most part. You got so-called woolly or you got so-called straight. There's no really in between. So you can't be like, well, you know, who knows? They call it silhouette. Yeah, hey, you know what I'm saying? So it's simple, right? The people that, y'all got woolly hair. That's woolly hair. That's right. Correct? His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and his beard was all white and woolly. As white as snow. Oh, white, go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Give me Genesis. Why is his eyes red with fire? Is he shooting uh, beams out of his eyes? Like X-Men? What do you think? What do you think his eyes are red with fire? You don't know? You gonna read it. Give me Genesis. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 12. Because Christ, remember he said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. All the way from Genesis, you'll find Christ. The thing is, God got to open that up. When you read the Psalms, if you keep my commandments, I'm going to give you the wisdom if you obey me. His eyes shall be red with wine. What was Christ's first miracle? You know? Water with wine. So you know when we get our little drink, our eyes get a little red, right? Because if you're going to make wine, there's some people, I don't know what y'all believe, certain churches say don't uh it's a sin to drink but christ made wine for the wedding Bring it out. So he's gonna commit sin so let's go back revelation chapter 1 verse 15 and his feet like unto fine brass i love that my sister got saying but it makes it real easy you look down at christ's feet he said his feet like a what fine brass brass my grass what is the color of brass? You know? Look at this brass. Brown. I'm a sister, how y'all doing? That came at the perfect time. Right? I'm, I'm showing what Christ looked like. 
Y'all know what Christ looked like? My mother, my sisters, y'all know what Christ looked like? Oh, that's uh, 14. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. All white and woolly. It's easy, right? Woolly, so called, what we call black people. That's woolly hair. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. When we read in Genesis, his eyes were red because he drank wine. That's his first miracle. Where you going? You going there? Yeah. Sis, before you go in there, I gotta give you something. Then you make your decision after that. Because uh, okay. we read in John 14, 15, Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments, right? Exodus 28. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. Y'all know about the Sabbath day? Christ kept it. Y'all know about the Sabbath day? Two days. To keep it holy. When you keep anything holy, what? You keep it separate. You do. You highlight it, right? You make that special. It's not like every other day. Right. Six days shalt thou labor. Six days. When you look at any, any uh, calendar, the first day is Sunday. Not Monday. Monday is the first day of work. But Sunday is the first day, right? So you got six days all the way to Friday, Sunday. And do all thy work. So do all, anything you got to do, you got those six days. But the seventh day. The seventh day is Friday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Of the Lord, not of me, not of these brothers, God himself. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger. So nobody in your family is supposed to be working on the Sabbath day. Hear mine. Now this is this is the reason I want to make sure I give you because our job is to give our people the the error that they in. Because a lot of times say you can't judge. The Bible says in multiple places you can judge, we can't condemn. We don't have that power. Right. That's what the, the uh, we got a book of judges. Also in the Bible telling our people do this, and it's up to our, our forefathers. Yeah, nah. Then we got the consequences. Nehemiah chapter ten verse thirty one. Yeah. And if the people of the land bring where or any victuals, where any type of product, clothing, or victuals, food on the Sabbath day to sell, that we so, would not. Buy it of them on the Sabbath. So a law is on the Sabbath day, there's no buying and selling. Because right. you got six days to do all your work. Right. Right. We're supposed to keep the Sabbath day holy yeah, according right. to God. Right. So when you go up in there, you have to pay. That's breaking the Sabbath. Right. Right. Christ said, if you love me, give me John again. You know? So that's like, remember when you read it, uh, Moses, he said, today I, I, I put in front of you life and death. Choose life. You have that shot choices right there once we give it to you. John chapter 14, verse 15. But you know, if ye love me, so if, sister, if you love Christ, keep my commandments. We just read a commandment. On the Sabbath day, no work and no buying, no sudden. Right. So now, yeah, the flea market's gonna be open. So the option is yours. Choose life and choose death. You understand that, right, my sisters? So what you got? Hebrews chapter 10 verse 26 For if we sin willfully You know, if we sin willfully Because you gotta know what sin is according to the Bible What sin is You know what sin is What the day is What, what is it about the day Not that far First John chapter 3 verse 4 Whosoever committed sin Transgresseth also the law for sin is the transgression of the law. Transgression means to break, to go against the commandments of God. That is sin. According to the Bible. So it's, that's what's it, it's wrong. So now, go back to Hebrews. You say the Bible, uh, what part of the Bible has been tampered with? Well, now, uh, are you thinking about as far as what, different, the different versions or just in general? Right, you hear that, right? Because we done heard that uh, numerous times. Now, we use the King James Version. That is the most accurate one when it comes uh, when it comes to as far as the English. This is the most accurate one. The ones you would say that's tampered with, like the NIV. Do y'all use the NIV Bible? The King James. What is that? 1819. Uh, uh, and Matthew is 1811. Yeah. Find that in Google for me, so we can show my sister. I'm gonna give you an example of being tapped with. Huh? 
1811. And then we're going to show you um, in the Bible. But we don't have it, but we're going to show you. Do you have the NIV in your phone just in case? I got a Bible in the house. Okay, but well, we're going to show you right here. So we're going to give you an example of the Bible being tapped. Now we're going to read this and then we're going to see if it's in the NIV. Matthew chapter 18, verse 11. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. Matthew 18. So Christ said, I come to build. Uh, read it again. For, for the Son of Man, the is, son of man come is come to save that which it. was lost. To save that which was lost. Uh, 1524. We can know what, who, what was lost. Matthew chapter 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So now you know what was lost. What is exactly the loss he's looking for? Matthew chapter 18, verse 11. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. So what's that? It's the Israel. Now, this is the NIV. Excuse me. I want you to take a look. This is Matthew. I'm going to go to the front so we can know. Matthew's 18 and New International Version. Y'all agree? I want to make sure y'all see, you know. And y'all see what y'all want to So now we're going to go to verse 11. Verse 10. I'm going to start at 10, right? Watch this. Verse 10. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you that the, their angels in heaven always see the face of my, my father in heaven. Then it skips. There's no verse 11. It jumps to 12. Right. What do you think? If man owns a hundred sheep, that's being tampered. With the verse 11. And that's just one. That's just one. That's why we don't mess with that. Those, because you got to realize, here you go. Why are they doing that? Just like when you look. I'm gonna give you an example. Give me a uh, uh, Song of Solomon one and five. You know what? Give me Song of Solomon one and five. I'm gonna show you another thing. That when you talk about tempered, those the New Living Translation, the NIV, those are tempered. Ooh. We're gonna show you why. Song of Solomon chapter one verse five. I am black, but comely. Read that again. That's Solomon. I am black, but comely. See, I'm black and I'm beautiful. Comely means I'm handsome. All right? Give me that. New NIV, Song of Solomon. All right, NIV. All right. Now watch this, my sister. NIV. This is Song of Solomon, one and five. Dark am I? Dark. I'm, I, I'm considered dark, but I'm not really black, right? It's like a color. You know, somebody steals your car. What color was it? Dark. Dark. What? Dark orange. Dark red. Dark am I? Yet lovely. Daughters of Jerusalem. It's a big difference from I'm black. From I'm not. Right. What the hell that mean? You see that? Are you showing them? So when they talk about what's been tampered with, the new after this. Those are the ones that have This is the one that's still on point. So when it comes to West Tampa, that's what's going to happen. Y'all understand that? So, oh, say, hey, you got a flyer, right? Listen, let me get, give me that loop. 15 and 10. Hey, my sister, listen to this. Listen to this. Luke chapter 15, verse 10. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God. Over one sinner that repented. That's repentance. Repentance are steps. Right. Some people think you gotta repent only one shot. As you learn, you apply. Right. That's right. So that one thing, that's repentance. Right. You're not going in there, there's joy in heaven right now for my two sisters not breaking God's laws. Right. That's right. So please, you got a video, you got videos online. Study this. Study, read for yourself. Blessed is he who reads. And ask your brothers, we're here for you. All right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.